Hi, it's Dia. Today I'm here to tell you that I'm giving away a full 168 set of Guanghui or Hero colored pencils. Here they are in all their incredibly colorful glory. And I also wanted to tell you that I'll be doing a real-time coloring session showing how to color this entire flower um, from my coloring book, Coloring Dreams. And there's a really cool trick with the leaves at the very end of the video, so I hope you stay tuned. Um, now for the, for the contest, and before I even start with that, that's number 58, and I'm making that little line there because I want, to, I want the flower petal to look like it's curled up. And now I'm drawing just little indications of lines to make more of those little feathery interior, um, I think they're called stamen. So, you know, easy peasy at first. And now I'm using that very neon 162 color and I'm drawing some of the polleny areas of those of those little stamen that I that I just drew and filled them in. So back to the contest. All you have to do to join the contest is to subscribe to my channel. Now I know many of you have already been so lovely and subscribed and I want to thank you so much. So if you are subscribed, simply leave me your email address either below or you can click the link in the information box underneath the video in the information area and there will be the link. Once you click the link, it takes you right to something called Rafflecopter and there will be directions and two different ways that, that you can enter. So it's very easy. Um, Oh, and the other thing is I can't, I can't enter for you. I, I can't put your name in and I make it automated on purpose because I want the winner to be chosen totally at random. Um, so you have to do it yourself. Um, the contest will run for two weeks starting right now and it will end on January 17th at 8 p.m. There will be no purchase necessary and this is completely my own contest. It's not being supported by anyone, and YouTube really has nothing to do with it other than the fact that I'm making a YouTube video about it. Now, back to this coloring for a second. I, am, I took a slightly darker, um, sort of a pink, number 61, in, in the Guanghui Hero Pencils, and then number 62. And I went over areas that I thought would be great for shadows. And then, and now I'm going over with the neon color, 168, and I'm filling in very lightly the petal area. Now, I also went around the areas in the center. Now, I'm forming layer after layer here. And I went back over with the 61. and I'm going around those yellow pieces. And you can see that as you put more and more color around the yellow, they seem to get brighter and brighter. I have a group on Facebook. Um, it's called Dia Lenahan Coloring Gallery. And if you want, you can also go over to Facebook. You can Click on the link and we will and we will let you in. It's it's really for people who who want coloring tips, who like to be informed about the about the giveaways and if some motivation and it's it's basically fun. So go over there if you're if you already like my coloring books and you want more information about how to color in them because I I use my own books as a reference quite a bit. Now, I'm on that leaf, I should say petal, that I wanted to give the impression that it's curled up at the end. 
So I'm taking that neon red, well, neon pink, number 168, and, I w and I'm coloring on the inside of that because the inside of the leaf petal would be a different color than the outside. I left some of the areas on the outside of this petal a little bit lighter because I thought it would be nice to give the indication that the sun was hitting. And I'm blending as much as I can right into that slightly darker pink color up on top, which was 61. And I know I've said this before, but I do believe that the secret to coloring with colored pencils is just having patience and taking your time. Even if you want there to be bright colors and relatively intense areas, I almost always start with a light hand. And I always start with a light hand also because there are times I don't necessarily know exactly what I want the thing to look like. Now that color that I just used, that pink on the outside of the petal, is number two. And I would call that mm, blush. And I'm forming the first layer of that outside petal. So it hopefully appears that there's a two dimension, uh, I'm sorry, a three dimensional effect and that, and that petal is curled up a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm giving away 10 digital downloads to 10 additional winners um, of their choice of picture from my Etsy shop. So they'll, they'll be able to download any picture they want and color any picture they want from my Etsy shop. Also, the winner of the 168 pencils will also win um, a download of their of the coloring book of their of their choice that I designed. Now, in this area right here, I'm going over. The center area and the areas between the petals of the leaves with number 61, which is the same color that I used in the beginning, but I'm pushing harder now so I can indicate the areas of separation of, of the flower petals. Now this is number 45, and I'm gonna be using 45 and also 118 and, um, 74 and those colors have violet in them and when you add violet to an area or or blue sometimes it adds uh, an indication of depth or or shadow and I thought maybe this top leaf might be leaning forward a bit and uh, that would be a nice way to show it I'm going around those yellow areas carefully. And I'm also adding some of that same uh, number 45 in this petal, just to add some depth and dimension. I like to add layer after layer because Nature is rarely ever, you know, one solid color. Even if you're looking at a pink leaf or a red leaf, it's rarely ever, well, not rarely, it's, it's never just one color. There are, there are different textures. Um, some, sometimes it looks like suede. Sometimes it looks like silk. It can be shiny or very matte. And although I'm not doing this picture perfectly and spending hours and hours, I can by doing these videos show you some ways to make um, to make things look slightly more realistic and 
I love doing that. I'm going over those little lines of the stamen again to make them darker with number 61. And I'm also accentuating the center of, of, of the flower. I didn't want to make it black because I felt like the sun would be shining right, almost directly at this flower. I'm taking away a little bit of that of that white border, but keeping some with number 45 again. Now I made little dots and indications in almost all of my pictures um, to, to show where there might be a separation of color or shadow, and that's what I was doing there. I just took 116 and I outlined the outline the outside of that petal and now I'm taking the neon 168 and I'm coloring the inside again a little bit more vibrantly even the areas that I think in my head that are going to be bright I usually don't start out very bright um, I go a little bit at a time because first of all I don't know what the thing is going to look like ultimately, and sometimes it takes on a life of its own. I think it's gonna be one way and then it completely goes in another direction, which I kind of like. So I'm blending in some areas that might appear to me a little bit darker. With the lighter areas, so there's not too many lines of demarcation that make it look less realistic. Back to the 45. And back to 61 to make the lines even more visible on those on those little stamen in the center. I'm blending again with the white. I don't know if you can see any difference at this point. This these these pencils do blend, but I can say that they don't blend as much or as visibly as some of the other pencils that I've used like Polychromos, Polychromos or Prismacolor. Also, I tried a different stand for my for my um, recording device and it did not work it was a little wobbly and it was a little shaky so I had to re-record parts of it because it just would not stop moving now I'm taking brown number 122 and I'm going in again because I wanted even more of an indication of the depth of the center of, of that flower. I want the outside leaves to appear more forward so they're lighter and then the areas in the center seem more recessed so I use darker. Once again 168 with, with the neons. Well not with the neons, with, with the number 168 which is a neon type red. That's number 61. And I'm going in the corners of where the flower petal would be lifting up and I'm making those areas a little darker. And I'm making the area around the center, I'm leaving that a little bit lighter 
so it helps with the illusion that the flower is that that the flower petal is bent. That's number 14. And that's a nice rich pink. So I decided I would go over some of the in interior petals. And it also acted as a nice blender also. And once again, you can see those yellows start to stand out even more as the color of the of the flower gets richer and richer. You can also see the more layers that I put down on these, the better it looks. Now you've been here with me this whole time. This is several layers and it's still accepting more more color. This is a darker purple or maybe um, a violet color and that's 118. This flower ended up to be slightly darker than I thought it was gonna be in the beginning. And that's fine. It's I just always find it interesting how I have one thought in my head, then sometimes it, it just takes off and runs in its own direction. I'm adding some shadows here too. and left the edges a little light because I thought that would give it a feeling that there was a little dip there and the ends of the flowers, I'm sorry, the end of the petal would be a little bit lifted. I have to say the purples and the pinks in this set are really nice. And they're really fun to work with just because there's so many. I'm making some lines here because I thought if the sun was hitting directly, those little stamen would be casting shadows. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing little indications of shadows. Nothing too dramatic, and that's fine. So there's a bit of a closer look. And I was going to end it here, and then I thought, you know what? I just want to add a, a few leaves. And then I ended up doing... All of the all of the green leaves right behind this this one flower. This is the 162 color, and this is such a cool trick. As you can hear, that pencil is kind of dry and scratchy, and yet it's so bright, and the pigment somehow is so wonderful. So I drew, I drew where, where I thought the veins of the flower would be. And you can see that I'm, I'm doing that now. It almost sounds like chalk or it almost sounds like a, um, 
a pastel pencil, like a Conti pencil. Now I went over the top, literally right over the top of that pencil with number six, a, a lightish like spring green. And lo and behold, the yellow, the, the, that, that glowing yellow just sort of, it, it, it just stayed there. I colored right over it and you could see right through it. And yes, the green did color on top of it, but that glowing effect stayed there. So this was a very neat discovery. And I don't think I've ever had this happen with any other pencils before. So I was very happy that I got this on film and I couldn't wait to tell you guys about it. So you can see I'm, I'm holding the pencil pretty far back and I'm not pushing that hard. I didn't want to push my luck here because I did want those yellow veins to stay. And then I thought I would end it here because it just came out so pretty. And then I thought, yeah, you know what? I am gonna push my luck. I'm gonna go one level darker. So after this, I took 166 and toward the center, over, over by the center of, of the petals, I wanted to make it a little bit darker, but I didn't really want to go over the yellow because I, I was kind of figuring that it would, it would cover them, but it didn't even cover it then. And it actually even made the, that those yellow veins stand out more. So I was doing little, little trials. And even when I was pushing relatively hard, that neon yellow just, just stayed. So I was getting a little bolder here and I was going over the whole thing, not even trying to be careful. And it was fine. So it's a very cool discovery about this set. So before the video's over, I just want to say I hope you subscribe below because I'm going to have more giveaways and more fun coloring videos. And I just want to say also that I'm really glad you're here because I love doing these videos. And here's here's the flower finished. Um, like I was saying, I love doing I love doing these videos for for you, and I hope you like them. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and please tell me if you like them below. And uh, like I said. Um, hit subscribe and if you already subscribe either leave me an email or follow the, follow the directions in the information box below. See you later. Bye!